What's up? Bringing you that graffiti tutorial I promised about a million years ago. Uh, I finally got a computer and got around to it, so let's get into it. Step 1. Taping. Taping is the most crucial step, but it's also the most time-consuming and the most boring. Believe me, it took me like more than a day just to tape. Taping is just to make a stencil so that the paint goes where it's supposed to go and your all of your edges and lines are smooth and not messy. Because if it's messy, it won't work. It's also to protect everything that's not supposed to get paint tape painted from the paint. Blah, 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 blah. And to do that, you need to have at least three pieces of tape in between the wall and where the paint's going. Otherwise, you're going to get overspray, which is nasty. And this is skimpy. You should have more than three at all times. And like I said, this is skimpy. Because I did this, I got overspray like crazy. But um, if you do get overspray, don't worry about it. When you do your second color and your outline, everything will be fine. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about taping. Now, between the arrow and the S, there's a lot of tape. That's because you want to tape over what you don't want to get that color on, because you only do one color at a time. Um, and now here, these are rough edges. Rough edges are uh, kind of confusing, but just cut them off with, like, an exacto. It's really, really simple, and um, you don't even need an exacto. Just anything with a sharp edge that isn't serrated. Because if it's serrated, it'll tear the tape off the wall, and you have to restart and take more time, and it just, it sucks. Um, and you always want clean edges, because clean edges means clean lines, and without those, everything just falls apart. Now this is the stencil for my first color, because you only do one color at a time. Notice that? I didn't tape for the other color. And that's step two, painting. First rule about painting, protect yourself. Wear a mask and wear goggles, because the paint goes everywhere, and if you're not protecting yourself, it'll go in your eyes and it'll go in your lungs. And you just don't want it there. It's just not somewhere you put paint. Just no. Second rule, shake the paint well. Otherwise, weird greasy water comes out, gets on the wall, it ruins the wall, it ruins your project, and it ruins your day. I've done this in the past. It's happened to me. It just, it just sucks. Just don't do it. Just be smart. Third rule, keep the can a reasonable distance away from the wall. If it's too close, like this, it'll drip and gob up. If it's a reasonable distance like this, about a foot away, you'll be fine. Third, fourth rule, even strokes. If you just do little dots, it'll drip. Again, and if it drips and you didn't tape well, like I did here, which is ridiculous, then it'll get on your wall and it'll be bad. But still, all these problems are will be fixed with the second color and outline. So this is the finished product, and as you can see, everything's fuzzy. But that's why there's the tape. So when you take the tape off, you should be getting clean edges like this. There is overspray. This isn't a good example because I taped the crap out of the arrow. And there will also be other mistakes like this. This is because I didn't cut off a rough edge. So it left a mark in my A, which isn't a big deal again. You can fix that later. Just get everything done. And there will also be drips. If you didn't tape well enough, like here, there's a bunch of drips and... A suspiciously greasy handprint that totally isn't mine. Um, but again, this isn't a big deal. When you do your outline, you won't even be able to see it. Like, you can't see it. And like I was talking about earlier, a lot, overspray. Now, it's that light blue stuff that's, um, there's like white in the middle. There's the blue and the light blue. And it's kind of hard to see here, but this is a better picture for it. Um, you see that weird white outline? That's because that's where the tape was, and that's where the paint did go. That's where you want to tape a lot. Uh, that sums it up for part one. Uh, subscribe for part two, which we will be talking about taping for the second color and doing the outline. Um, so, yeah. Shotgun TV out.